All right, now to a major milestone in the fight against COVID-19. The FDA has granted full approval of the Pfizer vaccine for people 16 and older. This make it, makes it the first shot to be fully licensed in the country for fighting COVID-19. 80 million eligible Americans are still unvaccinated. 31% of those have said they would get the shot if it was approved by the FDA. Joining me to tell us more, Dr. Kristen Dascombe from Interound Healthcare, the Medical Director of Infection Prevention and Employee Health. Thank you so much for being here, Doctor. We're coming up on 24 hours from that authorization. What do you expect this will do for Utah's vaccination rates? This announcement is a wonderful step in the fight against SARS-CoV-2. Um, it, it signals confidence in the Pfizer vaccine that it has not only met the safety um, endpoints, it has also met a lot of efficacy endpoints, both in the clinical trials and in the real world. Many persons in our community have been very concerned about long-term side effects, side effects in general, and how it would impact them. We now know that our FDA experts and other groups have evaluated this vaccine and demonstrated that it is both safe and efficacious through its most rigorous standard. So we can have a lot of confidence um, in it as, a important, as an important element of our prevention for this disease. Can you explain for me, does this mean that the other two vaccines available, so Moderna and JRJ, are less effective? Absolutely not. If you remember our timeline back in December, this was one of the first vaccines to come out. Moderna will expect to go through the same process over the next few weeks and um, potentially be on the same playing field with the Pfizer. Um, and over time, that will include the J&J &J as well. Got it. So it really is just timeline we're talking about here. Those other two vaccines, Absolutely. if you've gotten them, you don't need to feel like you're shorted out on a vaccine that is not FDA approved. How will more people being vaccinated help doctors like yourself on the front lines at this point? We know hospitals are filling up here in Utah. Absolutely. Prevention takes several steps to ensure we're safe. The first step is getting yourself vaccinated and ensuring that your immune system knows what to look for and helps you in every step of the way. The other two are masking to ensure that you are not spreading droplets to your community and that your community is not spreading droplets to you. And then finally, social distancing, keeping separate from other individuals just to ensure that we're safe. I know those are hard steps sometimes to do in our communities, um, but they are the best prevention, especially when we wanna protect our small children who are unvaccinated this time and don't have those opportunities. I'm curious uh, in your practice, I'm sure that you are kind of the front lines of getting questions about the vaccines. Are there any questions or misconceptions at this point in our pandemic that you're seeing maybe more so than others that are keeping people from being vaccinated? I think the biggest concerns have always been uh, the long-term or severe side effects. Um, I think people are concerned that we're going to see more things turn up over the next coming years um, that we aren't aware of. Uh, most side effects come up in the first eight weeks, and we now have over 204 million Americans that have received at least one dose of the Pfizer vaccine. This implies that we have a lot of data already on that time period, and a lot of data already on a year's worth of information from folks that have gotten it. Um, many of us have already had it in the communities for over eight months and have had no other untoward side effects. So we know what those are going to be. We know that they are much safer than getting the COVID virus itself, mm -hmm. um, making the risk benefit dramatically better for getting the vaccine versus the COVID virus, which can be so deadly. Dr. Jaskin, we just have a couple seconds left, but if you could give people a resource, if they still have questions, you know, they still have concerns, where would you recommend they go for more information? I would recommend they can go to intermountainhealthcare.org um, to be able to find any um, opportunities within Intermountain to get vaccinated. They can also go to vaccinefinder.com uh, or excuse me, .gov to be able to find uh, vaccines in their community. Perfect. Dr. Kristen Dascom with Intermountain Healthcare. We'll make sure to link those resources on our website as well, abc4.com. Thank you, Dr. Dascom. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much for having me.